If you've been tossing coffee grounds straight into your compost pile, thinking you're doing your soil a favor, it's time to stop. Don't worry, this isn't about bashing coffee grounds. They can be a powerful soil amendment, but only when used the right way. Most gardeners are wasting their coffee waste, or worse, harming their compost without realizing it. Coffee grounds are nitrogen-rich, about 2% by weight, which sounds great on paper, but when dumped directly into compost or soil, they tend to clump together, forming dense, compacted layers. This blocks airflow, traps moisture, and creates anaerobic pockets where bad bacteria thrive. That's why many compost piles that include too many grounds start to smell sour or even moldy. Instead of helping decomposition, coffee grounds can stall it. The problem isn't the grounds themselves, it's how they're introduced to the soil ecosystem. Think of coffee grounds as microbe food, not plant food. They need time and balance to truly shine. When you throw coffee grounds into a compost bin, their fine texture slows oxygen flow. Without oxygen, the aerobic microbes responsible for breaking down organic matter die off, leaving behind anaerobic bacteria that produce unpleasant odors and fewer nutrients. Even worse, the caffeine and natural acids in unprocessed grounds can temporarily suppress some beneficial microbes and even repel earthworms if the concentration is high. So while you might think you're enriching your soil, what you're really doing is suffocating it. The key is to transform coffee grounds before they ever touch your soil. The best thing you can do for your soil is to ferment your coffee grounds first. This process um, pre-digests them using lactic acid bacteria or beneficial composting microbes, turning the grounds into a living bioactive material that your soil can instantly use. Here's how to do it. First, collect your used coffee grounds for about a week. Around two cups is perfect. Next, add them to a small bucket or container. Then, mix in one tablespoon of molasses or brown sugar to feed the microbes. After that, pour in enough water to make a thick slurry. Now, add a splash of rice wash water or a tablespoon of finished compost as your microbial starter. Cover loosely and let the mixture ferment for five to seven days in a shaded area. During fermentation, beneficial microbes multiply, break down caffeine and acids, and release enzymes that make nitrogen more available. When finished, your mixture should smell earthy and mild, not sour or rotten. This fermented slurry can then be used as a soil drench, compost activator or worm attractant. Once your fermented coffee brew is ready, just dilute it 1 to 10 with water and pour it around your plant's root zones. The microbial content will immediately start working to unlock nutrients in the soil, especially when combined with organic matter like leaf mold or composted mulch. You can also add small amounts to your worm bin. Unlike raw grounds which can compact and heat up, Fermented grounds are soft, balanced and microbially alive, perfect worm food. Within days you'll notice increased worm activity and more castings, and if you prefer to mix it into compost, stir the fermented slurry into dry carbon materials like shredded leaves or straw. It acts as an activator, helping the pile heat up naturally and evenly. By fermenting coffee grounds first, you're doing what nature does over time. You're letting microbes digest the tough compounds before adding them to the ecosystem. This creates a balanced environment that supports both bacterial and fungal life. The results? Better soil texture. Microbes and worms create aggregation, keeping the soil fluffy and aerated. Faster decomposition. The pre-digested mix speeds up compost activity. Stronger plants. The lactic bacteria in the brew help improve nutrient uptake, especially nitrogen and phosphorus. No smell, no mold. A healthy microbial balance keeps your compost and soil fresh. This simple shift, from dumping coffee grounds to fermenting them, is one of the easiest ways to turn kitchen waste into a high-performance soil amendment. So, next time you finish your morning brew, skip the compost bin. Give your grounds a second life by fermenting them first. You'll transform what most gardeners waste into a powerhouse microbial tonic that, honestly, breathes new life into your soil. Healthy soil doesn't come from products, it comes from processes. And this process, simple as it is, 
mimics nature's own recycling system. If you found this useful, hit subscribe and join me here on Gentle Herb Living, where we turn simple, overlooked habits into powerful tools for living, breathing soil.